What if three doctors, Dr. Ben, Dr. Kane and Dr. Wayne, visit a particular clinic Monday to Saturday to see patients? Ben sees for 10 minutes and charges 100 bucks. Kane sees each patient for, patient for 15 minutes and charges 200. While Dr. Wayne sees each patient for 25 minutes and charges rupees 300. The clinic has three rooms numbered 1, 2 and 3, which are assigned to the three doctors as per the following table. Ben, Kane, Wayne, Wayne, Ben, Kane, Kane, Wayne, Wayne, Kane, Wayne, Ben. Uh, so far we've got nothing then we've got how many minutes each doctor takes and how much the charge maybe we'll get something about patients that are coming at this time that time and schedule and all that let's see that the clinic is open from 9 a.m to 11 30 a.m every monday to saturday on arrival each patient is handed a numbered token indicating their position in the queue starting with token number one every day as soon as any doctor becomes free the next patient in the queue enters that emptied room for consultation Okay, if at any time more than one room is free, then the waiting patient enters the room with the smallest number. For example, if the next two patients in the queue have token numbers 7 and 8, room numbers 1 and 3 are open, patient with 7 will go to 1, 8 will go to 3. So I see a token, I go, whenever a door opens, I go, if two doors open, at the same time when, I, when my token number comes, then I go to the smaller room number, the higher priority room number, the first room number. If 1 and 2 open up, I go to 1. If 2 and 3 open up, I go to 2. If 1 and 3 open up, open up, I go to 1. Otherwise, whenever a door opens, I go on. And simple enough. This is straight away telling us that there are very few constraints here. So we're not going to have a nice table and fill everything in and answer the question. Each question is going to give us something new. Right, so let's jump in. What are the maximum number of patients the clinic can cater to on any single day? Oh, this is going to be nice. Whenever you're given this maximum question, you want to assume that waiting time or the doctor's waiting time is zero. Doctors don't wait. 9 to 11.30. This is two and a half hours or 150 minutes. One of our doctors take 10 minutes. Another takes 15. Another takes 25. Let's assume there are 100 patients waiting. Not one, two, three, but 100 or 1000. So whenever a doctor finishes his appointment, a new one comes in with some algorithm. I don't care what the algorithm is. So there are so many waiting that they keep coming. That's when I can see the maximum. And how will we see max? How many can this see? One plus one fifty by ten. The, the ten minute doctor, I think that's Ben, can see fifteen patients. The fifteen minute doctor can see ten patients. One fifty by fifteen. The twenty five minute doctor can see one fifty by twenty five six patients. Fifteen plus ten twenty five plus six. 15, 10, 6, 31 patients can be seen. Basically saying the doctors can max out. There's not a single minute where a doctor is not seeing a patient. How will that work? There are tons of patients, 150 patients. On They are all there at 8.50. The moment the clinic opens, the doctors just keep seeing patients. They guzzle patients down, but there is no time where a doctor finishes his, 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 his session with the patient and there's nobody. That scenario doesn't exist. Every time a doctor is done with a patient, a new patient is waiting to barge in through the door. They are very busy doctors. They are maxed out. 15, 10 and 6, they'll see. That means we'll, they'll end up seeing 31 patients. And so just to clarify, the Ben takes 10 minutes, Kane 15 and Wayne 25. Right? And they charge 100, 200, 300. I need to remember this because it's going to come into the picture somewhere. 31 here. The queue is never empty on one particular Saturday. Which of the three doctors would earn the maximum amount? So it's our scenario. That means Ben sees 15 patients. Kane sees 10 patients. Wayne sees 6 patients. Ben takes 10 minutes. Kane takes 15 minutes. Wayne takes 25 minutes. Ben 10 minutes charges 100. Kane sees 15 minutes charges 200. Wine sees 25 minutes, charges 300. So this is rupees 100, rupees 200, rupees 300. Total amount Ben would make is 1500. Kane would make is 2000. Wayne would make is 60 to 300, 1800. Who makes the best money? Maximum amount in consultation charges. That is Kane. Fine. 15 minutes. For every 15 minutes making 200 bucks, brilliant. Here the amount is doubling, time taken goes up only by 50%. So Kane definitely sees more than Ben. And 
easily makes more than vein as well 15 to 25 goes up by two thirds this goes up by half fine so more time less money therefore cane is better Mr Singh visited the clinic on Monday, Wednesday and Friday of a particular week arriving at 8:50 a.m. on each of these three days his token number was 13 on all three days on which day was he at the clinic for the maximum duration and so i'm not going to worry about the days we'll come to the days later on and so our man comes at 8:50 that means he is there even before the clinic opens the clinic's first time is 9 o'clock he is there even before that right so evidently ben will see the maximum number so let's see how many students how many people get seen in one hour right so in one hour ben will see six patients kane will see four patients wayne will have a third one inside okay we would have finished it wayne will have a third one inside 25 50 and the rest of it 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 3 13 so before one hour he'll end up seeing wonderful let's think about 9:45 in 45 minutes what will happen when ben would have seen four and the fifth one will be inside ken would have just seen three and the fourth one will be entering maybe we'll call it 9:46 to avoid confusion ben would have seen two the second one will be inside Fifth, fourth, second. Five plus four, nine. Nine plus two, eleven. At nine forty-six, token number eleven would have gone in. But by ten, everybody would have thirteen uh, or more would have been inside. That we have seen. This is the status at ten o'clock. In one hour, thirteen definitely gets seen. In one hour, one minute, the seventh guy will go here. The fifth guy will go here. Third guy will continue to be inside. So he definitely. enters before 9 am but at 9:46 only 11 are inside the fifth guy would have gone to be with ben three would have been completed the fourth guy would have just entered for kane and the second guy will be sitting and having a chat with uh, with wayne and 9:51 that the next turning point with ben the sixth guy will be sitting inside with kane it will be the still the fourth guy with wayne it's a third guy 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 3 13 wonderful 13th guy will be inside at 951 would have entered at 950 brilliant so 950 is the entry point for the 13th token number right but it's always the 13th guy enters at 950 so i think same duration on all three days this is tempting me i went towards this and so in any day 13th guy is 950 when ben would have seen fifth five six one would be going in kane would have anyway the fourth guy will be sitting inside kane for when two would have been completed the third one comes in 6 plus 4 10 plus 3 13 and so he will enter at 950 you have to token number 13 it doesn't matter which day you come you're always going to enter in at 950 that's how the system works and so so what's a big deal so he should be at the clinic for the same duration for each time this is wrong because think about it he is going to enter his appointment at 9:50 but he'll come out at which day was he at the clinic for maximum duration if he's entering into an appointment with ben kane or william or or wayne he's going to come out at different times so the answer could be different he is entering the 13th guy entering but the 13th guy could be ben or vein it's not ken could be ben or vein depending on whom he is seeing i'll change i'm going to fill this table out we've got to the answer more or less but i want to fill this table out because i want to discuss this i'm not going to see which day of the week i'm just going to draw the broad chart and at 9 o'clock the first guy in each place would go 111 11. right so I'm going to put it as one, 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 not one, two, three, because I don't know which is room number one, which is room number two, room number three. That that toss-up will resolve later. Nine, ten, the fourth guy will go. Token number four. Why the fourth guy? Because one, two, three have gone. So I put it as one, 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 joint first. 
then we'll resolve that one, two, three later on, like goal difference or run rate, net run rate. That we'll resolve later on. One, one, one. At nine, ten, token number four will go to Ben's room. At nine, fifteen, token number five will go to Kane's room. At nine, twenty, token number six will go here. Right? There'll be something here, something here. At nine twenty-five, token number seven will go here. Wonderful. At nine thirty, this will get completed, and this will get completed. Eight, eight, joint eight. At nine forty, number ten will go. Joint eight. There is eight and nine in some order, and then tenth one will be here. Nine forty-five. Eleventh one will go here. Nine fifty will be twelfth joint twelfth or twelfth or thirteenth, thirteenth or twelfth. Okay, wonderful. So, on which day was he at the clinic for the maximum duration? So, if he goes in and he ends up meeting Ben, then he'll be there for ten more minutes. He's out by ten a.m. If he goes in and he ends up meeting Ben, then he'll he'll be there till ten fifteen. And now let's look at Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So this is what we are looking at: twelfth and thirteenth guys. On Monday, the guy with token number twelve will go here. Thirteen will go here. On Tuesday, guy with token number twelve will go here. Thirteen will go here. Sorry, on on Wednesday, on Friday, the guy with token number twelve will go here. Thirteen will go here. So our man with token number thirteen on Wednesday and Friday he'll meet Ben, and on Monday he'll meet Ben. When he meets Ben, is when he has to stay inside for twenty-five minutes, longest. Or our answer is Monday. Wonderful question. So here, if you notice, I've put in all our turning point times: nine, nine, ten, nine, twenty, nine, thirty are there. Nine, nine, fifteen, nine, thirty, nine, forty-five are there. Nine, nine, twenty-five, nine, fifty are there. So it helps to know each of those times how somebody will will will. Uh, what is the new person coming in? But don't draw each of these sequences. Draw one overall sequence, and wherever this Ben Kane Wayne clash happens, then the room number will resolve it and say who is going to go first between these one, one, one. Which is one? Which is two? Which is three? Will be determined on what room numbers they have. And so, on all days, token number thirteen will enter at nine fifty. That is clear. It was a nice number. Token number thirteen enters at nine fifty. That much is very clear. But at nine fifty, he could enter and meet Ben or Ben. So the day in which he'll end up meeting Ben is the day in which he'll spend maximum time inside. On a slow Thursday, only two patients are waiting at 9 a.m. After that, two patients keep arriving at exact 15-minute intervals, starting at 9:15 a.m. So 9:15, 9:30, 9:45, five, two two guys come in. The total duration in minutes when all three doctors are simultaneously free. So this is on Thursday. On Thursday, what is the sequence of doctors? Thursday is Wayne, Ben, and Kane. So W B K. So the vein takes twenty five minutes. Ben takes ten minutes. Kane takes ten minutes. So at nine o'clock the two people come. One and two, they go to vein and Ben. Then the total duration in minutes when all three doctors are simultaneously free, and so. At nine o'clock, they are not simultaneously free. Only Kane is free. Till nine fifteen, Kane will be free. At nine fifteen, two new patients come. Three and four, they'll go to Ben because Ben will be free. Four will go to Kane because Kane is also free. But Ben is continuing on in this meeting. At nine thirty, when two new patients come, Ben will be free. Fine, we'll sit here. Ben will also be free. So Ben will start. 
straight away you notice that ben is always going to have some patience because he starts he takes only 10 minutes so he's going to be free and he's he's a second room so either the first patient who is waiting or the second patient waiting is always going to be there so ben is free from 9:10 to 9:15 9:25 to 9:30 9:40 to 9:45 that's the only time ben is free in this time if both of them are also free then we are through then we can find some cycle sitting there ken takes alternate slots 9:15 to 9:30 he has a slot 9:30 to 9:45 he is free 9:45 when two new people come in wayne is occupied b7 eight ben and ken will get both get patients so 9:45 to 10 is free 9:15 to 9:30 ken is occupied fine brilliant now when is vein free vein is free from 9:25 to 9:30 and then from 9:55 to 10 that's when vein vein is free five minute windows every alternate 15 minute slot in the last time last five minutes is free during that time slot ben is also free the last five minutes every alternate slot they're both waiting talking to each other if ken is also free we are through the 9:25 to 9:30 is when ken is occupied 9:55 to 10 is when Kane is occupied, and he's going to always be occupied in these windows. So that one time window of five minutes, where Wayne and Ben are free, in that five minute slot, which comes every other slot in the second half, the last one third, that that time Kane is definitely occupied. So all three of them, they they think, okay, today let's let's catch a break when there are no customers, no patients. All three of us will go and put one tea and come. That ain't happening. So the the total duration in minutes when all three doctors are simultaneously free zero at no time are all of them free <laughs>